It was the day that the Fujifilm X106 was released and the internet was going absolutely crazy for this new Fujifilm X100 camera. Honestly, my own finger hovered over that pre-order button, but I didn't decide to buy it in the end, and that was actually a decision I made a long time ago. I have no doubt that this new Fujifilm X100 camera will be utterly amazing, but for me, a camera with a fixed lens on the body, like a lens you cannot remove, just doesn't fit into the style of photography that I like to shoot. I just can't see myself being in the situation of ever wanting to buy an X100 camera. Hold on a second. I already have one. This isn't the X100R. It's not the T or the S or the V or the 6 or the Z. This is just the plain old simple X100. I've made a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel about this camera and I absolutely love it. The original X100 is now 14 years old, so it's quite old technology, but this camera is super fun to use. My original Fujifilm X100 is like a good old pair of beater shoes. You know, like those pair of shoes that you wear they're so comfortable, you've worn them in, they might have holes in them or rips in them, they're so dirty, but uh, your feet know them well. This camera is like a pair of those shoes. So rather than sitting there feeling sorry for myself that I wasn't gonna be the proud owner of a brand new Fujifilm X106, I decided to grab my original X100 camera, put on my coat and head out into the rain for a little photo walk and see if she still has a little bit of life left in her. In a previous video, I decided to try and make the ultimate original X100 recipe. And you can watch that video up here. That previous recipe that I created was based on the film simulation Astia, which is a color film simulation. But one thing I've really wanted to try out with this original Fujifilm X100 is to create a black and white recipe but with a twist. Because of its age, this camera limits you in the options you have for creating JPEG recipes. And one thing I like to include in basically all my other Fujifilm recipes that I've created with other Fujifilm cameras is green. But this camera does not have a green option. But I had an idea. My idea was if I turned the ISO up high enough, maybe the noise that came with that might end up looking like green in the final JPEGs. Every photograph shown was shot at ISO 3200. You can be the judge to see whether the noise produced at ISO 3200 with this camera looks like green. I guarantee some people just heard me say I shot all these photographs at ISO 3200 and they were like, are you crazy, Ross? But um, something really cool about the X100 range is that they have a built-in ND filter in the camera. So that really helps if you're shooting with a high ISO in the daytime. You turn on the ND filter and you're still able to shoot with like a fairly wide open aperture. As you'll see, it was also a really wet, dull, rainy day. So that allowed me to keep my aperture fairly wide for these shots. So just before we get to the photo walk footage and the final photographs taken with this new original X100 black and white recipe that I've created, I have one thing to note, and that is that when I got the JPEGs out of this camera, I thought they looked a little bit hazy. I don't know whether that was down to the high ISO that I used for this recipe, or the fact that the lens on my original X100 is really like hazy and smudged or just that it was like a dull, wet, rainy day. Maybe it was the rain on the lens, I don't know. But once I got the JPEGs out of this camera, I brought them into Lightroom and added plus 15 texture, plus 15 clarity, and plus 15 dehaze. And that really brought these images to life. Don't get me wrong, they look good straight out of the camera, but I just wanted to enhance them a little bit, and that's absolutely fine. This camera doesn't have a clarity option, and there's no other way that I can think to add clarity other than pull the JPEG into Lightroom. So that's what I did. And if you don't like it, then tough nuggets. Anyway, enjoy this footage and enjoy these photographs and enjoy this recipe created for this 14 year old camera and enjoy your day and enjoy your Fujifilm X100 6 if you ordered one. And I didn't order one. I don't want one. I, I kind of want one. I'm a little bit bitter, but that's okay. I can live with it. And uh, I'll see you in another video soon. Enjoy.